Hey everyone, I'm Sly, and I want to make a video of what the playmaker, Michael Irving, said about the whole Debo Samuel situation. Check it out, guys. Hard drop when I heard what y'all wanted to talk about, because I hadn't heard anything about possibly trading Debo, man. See, it ain't so about Debo, is <laughs> what I'm singing now. <laughs> so, you know, what I think we have here is an ugly start, but it should end well. I'd be stunned if it didn't end well. But, you know, it, it, there's nothing more modern than the beginning of any negotiation is a player scrubbing a team from his social media. And that's what Debo Samuel did. He took off all 49ers references, so that means he means business going into this negotiation. It's a different world than you lived in, man. But right, here... right, right. Can we first address that? Sure. Can we first yes. address that part yeah. of it? Yes. That these kids, no, I don't call them kids, young men do now, the way they use social media to divorce dis- the, the, the their displeasure and all of that, like, okay, by scrubbing the accounts of all things that have to do with that football team. I mean, I guess. I don't know. I'm just saying, you know what I mean? It's, yeah, it's not the way I would go about project. You know, here's the thing. Everything should be business as usual until it isn't. And this isn't time for things to be unusual. But what was unusual Ray, uh, and, and this is something we've talked about, Michael, in the entire month of March, we watched a wide receiver market explode like never before in this league. So I think it emboldened top wide receivers, especially as one as versatile and important as Debo, to go get the bag. And that's what that's that's the world we live in now. And, and right now, unfortunately, because you say, wow, Man, you guys are up at the right time. I said, ooh, unfortunately for teams to have those guys up. Give it another year or so, I think it'll settle in a little bit. The number, the new number is what it is. The new number is $30 million. You know, that's just what it is right now. But you give it another year, it settles in a little bit better. The, the salary cap's going to do a new thing next year, too. I expect it to jump again. And then it settles on the stomach better. But... I hope that they don't make the same mistake that I think Jerry Jones made, even though my opinion on all of that has changed. Because I thought when he got rid of Amari Cooper at $20 million, and then you jump back in and a new number is $30 million. You know what I'm saying? So Amari Cooper now at $20 million seems like a hell of a deal. It seems like a hell of a deal. But, but, but in Debo, and let me tell you guys something, Goofy. Let me tell you something, D. I, I, I chatted with Debo at the Super Bowl. We had a good talk. You know, I love this dude, man. I love this dude. I was singing Debo oh, in his ear. It was a great moment. Great moment. I was in his ear singing it. You know, holding him tight. I love the dude, man. I love the way he played. I even said to him, hey, man, get all you can, man. But I, I, I think it would, be much, it would be best for you to stay with San Francisco, to stay with Kyle Shanahan. And, you know, he looked at me like, why are you telling me this? Like, you know, like, 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 and I kind of felt like, okay, he didn't receive that well. So maybe they had already been in some preliminary talks when I tried to, because I was trying to sell him there. Let me tell you something. You, you, is there between $30 million and it's a lot of money. I would want my $35, $30 million and $25 million. I would want my extra $5 million also. But if I have the chance to leave the kind of mark that Debo can leave, that Debo will leave, in this league and on, this, on, on a franchise or an organization like the San Francisco 49ers, I have to consider that. I say that on Debo side. I say this on San Francisco side. San Francisco side, you let me walk in any damn locker room in this league, and you give me 15 minutes in that locker room, I can tell you which player that team cannot can do with cannot do without. That team, that the player that has to be on that team. And when I watch San Francisco. Debo is that guy. You saw them walking out in that game right here in Dallas when they walked out, him and Trent, them first hand to hand. He sets the tone. He was set, he sets the tone for that team. You can talk about physical skill sets. We can talk about uh, uh, how well you run, how high you jump. When you find the dude that sets the tone for your team, you do not let him go. And that's what Debo does for the San Francisco 49ers. I guarantee you, you'll be a different football team without him. Listen to me. I guarantee you, you will not be the same football team without him. All right, guys. Hearing that, man, I just got to say, 
I 100% agree with the playmaker. What he said, man, there's guys out there in the locker room that you know you got to have on that team. You have to have on the team. They're leaders. They look at you and they're like, okay, I'm ready to roll because this guy's ready to roll. That right there is Debo Samuel, man. Like when he's out there with the with the boom box at the beginning of the game, he's feeling it. Guys look around, they see him, they look at him as a leader, you know. You don't get rid of leaders. You just don't. I know a lot of people right now, I'm hearing it from Niner fans that they just would trade Debo Samuel. And I'm sorry, man, I'm just not one of that guy. I lived through the T.O. days when we got rid of him. And after we got rid of him, it was just we were living in purgatory, man. We sucked for the next, what, like eight to ten years. We were horrible. And I just I don't want to see that with Debo, man. I, whatever it is, if it's twenty five million dollars, what reports are saying, if it's thirty million dollars, where other reports are saying about he wants to be the highest paid um, non quarterback, it doesn't matter, man. When you have those leaders on the field that you just you can't get rid of, you can't get rid of that because they're leaders on the field, they're leaders off the field. You got to pay the guy. You have to. So whatever it is, whatever it takes, get the deal done. I don't care, man, because this is a guy right here that you build your team around for the next four, five years. So I just got to say, we got to keep him, man. We got to keep him. He's a foundational piece. And I like what Michael Irvin said at the end. He's like, I guarantee you, your team is not going to be the same after getting rid of Debo Samuel. And he's 100% right, man. There's no way in the world that he we'd be the same team without him. He's the heartbeat of this team. Without him, we don't make the playoffs. <laughs> That game against Chicago, we were dead in the water. Our season was on the line. He takes a screen, takes it 80 plus yards to the house. That changed our season right there. We, we don't make it to the NFC Championship game without Debo Samuel. You know, he almost literally carried us to the Super Bowl, a receiver slash running back. So that's why I think, guys, I want to know what you guys think. If Debo Samuel, if we should just trade him, get rid of him, get a few draft picks for him, or no, nah, man, pay the guy. He's the heartbeat of the team. Let me know, know down below. Make sure to like this video, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, guys. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.